Okay, so today uh, you'll be learning about Kekulé's model for benzene. So firstly, benzene is classed as an aromatic compound and it has the molecular formula C6H6. Okay, so this German uh, scientist named August Kekulé, it's quite interesting how he came about with the model for benzene. He actually had a dream of a snake buying his own tail. So as you can see, this hexagon, it just ends where it started. And he, he had this dream, so he came up with this model and he suggested that... Uh, Benzene is a six-membered, so one, two, three, four, five, six-membered hydrocarbon, so composed of carbon and hydrogen only, with alternating double and single bonds. So we have a double bond here, and then we have a double bond here again, and we have a double bond here. So because this is a hexagon, and no matter which way you turn it around, the shape is symmetrical. So you know you can you can just turn it around, and it would be the same thing. Okay, so this is a uh, calculus model right over here, and uh, there were actually some problems with this model. So if I just write it down over here, problems. So the first problem is actually to do with the type of reaction. So as you can see, uh, this model is composed of double bonds and single bonds. So hence, it's expected to react like an alkene. And now there's a uh, there's a test you can actually do to test if you have an alkene, and it's called the bromine water test. So if you add an alkene into bromine water, the bromine water decolorizes. However, with Keckley's model, this uh, I believe didn't decolorize, and it doesn't, and therefore doesn't undergo electrophilic addition reactions, a, a reaction where you form one product from two reactants. And uh, it was later discovered that it actually undergoes electrophilic substitution. So moving on to the second problem with Keckley's model, and this is actually to do with the bond lengths. So as you can see in his model, it is actually composed of carbon to carbon double bonds right over here and carbon to carbon single bonds. So the difference between them is that carbon to carbon double bonds are actually shorter than carbon to carbon single bonds. And that is because the carbon to carbon double bonds are, have more donating, I mean have more bonding electrons and therefore uh, they attract the nuclei more and they attract the atoms more closer together, therefore they are shorter. So if the carbon to carbon double bonds are shorter than the carbon to carbon single bonds, the hexagon is expected to be irregular. So there's this process called X-ray crystallography, a process in which X-rays actually charged an atom, a striked an atom, and then they determine the arrangement of the atom. So via that process, via X-ray crystallography, uh, it suggested that all the bond lengths are actually the same. So they're not alternating, they're actually the same. Okay, so now we move on to our third problem with Kekulé's model, and this is actually to do with the hydrogenation reaction of benzene. So the hydrogenation reaction is where one molecule is added, uh, one molecule of hydrogen is added to the double bond to form a alkane. In this case, one molecule of hydrogen is added to the double bond in hexene, and this forms hexane. So now this has a bond enthalpy of minus 120 kilojoules per mole. So if we now take Kekulé's model, which has the additional two double bonds, and hence we have three hydrogen molecules because we have three double bonds, uh, we would be expecting to have three times the bond enthalpy than before. So we would be expected to have minus 360 kilojoules per mole of bond enthalpy. And this is expected. However, shockingly, uh, the actual bond enthalpy is minus 208 kilojoules per mole. So this means that the model, Kekulé's model, is uh, more stable than expected. To be precise, is actually minus 152 kilojoules per mole more stable than expected. 